Hi, Mayor Dreckmeyer, Vice Mayor Morton. Thank you so much for the opportunity to talk to you and members of the council. Uh, my name is Sagar Doshi. I'm a senior undergraduate student here at Stanford this year. And I'd like to take a couple minutes just to speak to you about the student perspective on Stanford's growth and its ongoing development. Over my four years as a student here, I've had the privilege of interacting with a great many people at this university, diverse individuals from diverse places with diverse interests. And I've always been quite curious why such an unlikely collection of students chose this particular institution, this particular place. And so when I do get the chance, I ask my peers, I ask them why they chose Stanford, why they were motivated to come here. And interestingly, I always get one of two answers. Either they came because of the quality of the people they could interact with here, or they came because of the quality of the education they could get here, or a combination of both. Um, and the unparalleled intellectual vibrancy on campus, a combination of both quality people and quality education, is a direct result of Stanford's reputation as an institution of seemingly unlimited opportunity and potential. This reputation exists because Stanford has worked very hard to encourage those who are willing to try new things, willing to juxtapose different topics together to create something new. The proposed new bioengineering building is a perfect example of a growing field that has emerged out of Stanford's unique blend of an encouraging administration and motivated students. So if Stanford hopes to retain its competitive advantage in attracting top students and top faculty from all over the world, it must continue in, to support and develop projects like this one. Stanford prides itself on its aesthetic. And by this, I mean that it is important for Stanford to maintain open, natural areas, such as those by the dish just south of Campus Drive, along with, with its more developed uh, residential and academic areas. Stanford has consistently shown that it knows the value of an open, natural environment in cultivating and stimulating the sort of thought and interaction that it desires. And given the enormous workload that Stanford students tend to take on, both in and out of the classroom, we have relied heavily on the campus's well-maintained and well-protected open spaces. But beyond just the aesthetic, Stanford also acts as an extremely responsible environmental player. It doesn't only support and encourage the development of environmentally conscious students and faculty, but it also takes big steps to make sure that sustainability happens in a practical way as well. The Y2E2 building is a perfect example of that. As students, we're proud of Stanford's responsible decisions in this arena, and we try and act as a catalyst to make more sustainable, sustainability efforts happen. Overall, Stanford students are supportive of, of Stanford's continues effort, continued efforts to use its property, property responsibly and appropriately. The values of intellectual entrepreneurship, environmental sustainability, and responsible development enshrined in the SDS mesh very well with the values that the student body, the student body itself supports. And it is for this reason that I come before you in excited and determined support of, the, uh, support of the sustainable development study. I hope you have the chance to approve it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.